What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. Let's start this video with the physique update of the Brazilian legend Eduardo Correa, who is finally coming back to the stage after three years. Eduardo is one of those guys who started competing in the 212 soon after this division was created. For those of you who do not know, up until 2011, the 212 was called 202. Eduardo came into this division in 2013 and immediately placed top 5. And the next year, Eduardo pushed Flex Lewis to the absolute limits. Flex was able to retain the title, but it was a really close call. So, after competing at the top for almost a decade, Eduardo aims to come back, win a pro show in November and later step on the Olympia stage. We do not know the extent of his injuries over these years and how these are hindering him from training hard. But he does look super motivated. His nickname Super Sliced is given for a reason. His ability to come in shredded to the bone. And I don't think we should expect anything less this year either. Two Olympia qualifiers going down this weekend. Plus, the arrival of Michael Crizzo in NPC as well. Man, it will be so amazing if he wins his pro card and decides to jump in with the big boys the next day at Tsunami Cup in Italy. I don't think that's happening. He signed a contract with Pro Pro Team and he will likely make his debut in the IFBB there. I like the fact that Crizzo kept his fans engaged throughout his prep by posting progress pictures. He is 6'1", only 31 years old and holds the record of 13 wins out of 14 shows that he entered in the Elite Pro League. Let's see what kind of an impact he leaves in the IFB Pro League. As a defending Arnold Classic champion, Tawan Sorfen is the closest to dethroning Chris Bumstead this year. Yes, he is fighting guys who are taller than him, like Ors, Ramon, and Chris, but he has proven time and time again that this height factor doesn't affect him. In the latest update, at 10 and a half weeks out, roughly, Terrence looks right on target. He really feels that he is in the driving seat for this prep. He doesn't have to play catch up. He isn't losing weight very fast because in his previous two preps, he was sick halfway through his prep. And still, he was able to win back-to-back -back Arnold's and came runner-up at the Olympia. Terrence had a solid off-season this year and that will reflect on the stage in the finished package. So, who is your pick? Will Terrence and Chris be top two again? And can Terrence finally beat Chris Bumstead? I can't find any updates regarding Steve Koklo's future competition plans. Currently, he is in the fourth spot in terms of point standings for the Olympia qualification and only top three will make it to the stage. Andrea Mozzi and Theo are safe to qualify on points. From the latest training footage available on his IG, it doesn't seem like Kuklo is prepping for these upcoming Olympia qualifiers. He looks a little bit downsized for his standard and less vascular as well. So, we have seen Steve compete in three different shows this year. Interestingly, he plays third in all three shows. I think he is capable of winning some of these upcoming shows if he wanted to. I mean, the last time we saw Steve on the Olympia stage was back in 2019. And from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like he is going to be on the Olympia stage this year again.
hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.